Cancer Cancer! Hello Cancer and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. Um, it's been a crazy week. I'm sorry I'm late but I'm back. I um, want to make a couple of, of announcements here before I do your weekly read which is really it's about what's it's a kind of about your person I think but um, I'm gonna go mostly cancer okay only because uh, you know if there's a message that I can give to anyone regardless of the sign it has to come through so I reserve the right <laughs> I reserve the right to put on you know like my one of my friends is a Taurus I'll do a reading of her one of my friends is a Capricorn so I'm gonna do a reading about him um, you know so there's if somebody needs a message I'm gonna put it out I also want to keep doing the general reads because I just have fun with them because I'm completely free and I'm not really focused on anyone I just go with the flow right and um, I want to keep doing the twin flames because I know that there's a lot of cancers out there that are twin flames just know that in every reading though um, cancer is going to be probably in there somewhere so it's still going to be a good you know a good thing to watch or I might even just stick it stick it in the name or something but um but yeah I'm going to do that and um anywho I'm using a new deck I'm not really used to this deck yet I'm going mostly off the photos like I usually would anyway and um uh I don't remember the name of this deck. Which one is this? This is the Urban. And this one is um, the Gilded Tarot Royale. This one is the Arcanum. Of course we know my baby deck. I don't know if you can see her here. And my flashcards. Okay. Now this isn't going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. Just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. If it does resonate with you, um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. Donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, all of it. I love you guys. Um, I'm really dedicated to you, actually. And I thank you. I thank you for following me. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, awesome. Um, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box and this channel is for adults only. I also want to tell you that um, a personal friend of mine um, is an absolute amazing astrologer and so um, I'm going to be um, you know having her on my channel my show right <laughs> having her on my channel and uh, we're gonna start doing some things together too once in a while so it's gonna be a really treat a really awesome treat for everybody um, it's gonna be a great learning experience for me because I don't know boo about astrology so <laughs> it's just gonna add a lot of strength and um, and diversity to the channel and um, I want you guys to support her also if you can all of your support um, to her I'll let you know her name and information on her as um, as she's ready to give it but she's absolutely wonderful and I know she's watching right now so so Tiffany you know who you you know you know you rock okay she's also the one who actually got me started um, with tarot she gave me my first deck okay and uh, and she gave me my first reading and um, it, you know we've just kind of bounced ideas off of each other and she visits and stuff whenever she can and um, you know she's wonderful so anyway um, I'll introduce you along the line and uh, you know it's just gonna be a treat it's gonna be wicked all right so um anywho uh yeah cancer I'm sorry I'm thinking about all I also wanted to give a shout out to Krista Lee because Krista Lee I'm gonna be a little bit late meeting with you honey but the video needs to go out so okay guys <laughs> 
your overall energy that I got now, I asked what's coming towards you for the next week, okay? What's coming towards you for the next week? Um, I got what appears to be the Seven of Cups, okay? This to me, normally, you know, what I'm seeing this as somebody who um, had a lot of options and has a lot of illusions, okay? Maybe has had an illusion before about the situation. Um, maybe has, has finally figured out the one option that stands out above the rest, okay? Um, also, I'd also like to open this too with the two songs that, um, that I, I was picking up on before the reading. The Fray, How to Save a Life. So look that one up and listen to that one. And then Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. So those two kept kind of coming in and out of my head this morning before I started your reading. Um, I'm also hearing Sitaris, S S Sitaris Star, 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 you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, Sitaris, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. So somebody look that up for me because I don't know why I'm hearing Sitaris. Or, yeah, Sitaris, Star. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm hearing. So anyway, um, somebody look that up for me because it's going to be here and gone by the end of your, by the end of your reading. Um, so anyway, How to Save a Life by the Fray, the, the, the words that they were giving to me, it was kind of about <laughs> if this person would have known what to do at the time with you, Cancer, um, they could have saved a life, meaning they could have spared the suffering in their life, they could have spared the suffering in your life, they could have saved lives. Like, as far as quality, I guess, of emotion in their life and everybody, you know, if you listen to the song, though, I haven't even listened to it before I started your reading. I'm just going off of the words that are, you know, there's like steps. Step one, they could have done this. Step two, and it's actually kind of steps of having a conversation, too, as you, from what I remember steps of having like a conversation with step, step one sit down say you need to talk step two something about being polite okay we need to talk step three i mean they go through steps almost like your person is going through steps so what what should i do how am i going to do this how are we going to have this conversation if i would have only figured this out before i would have known how to save this life of mine that kind of thing right i don't know just listen to the song how to save a life by the fray because i didn't hear the whole song only bits and pieces and then the second song right after that um was cry me a river by justin timberlake and that's about you know what comes around goes around kind of thing and well cry me a river okay so it's almost like that is the conversation either you've already had it or you're going to have it i don't really know but that's almost like that is how the conversation goes and if you listen to how how to save a life this is what your person is thinking during this conversation right so how to save a life would be on their side i believe and cry me a river would be on your side, I believe. I don't, if that makes sense for, I hope that makes sense for somebody. But I'm seeing that, you know, either somebody's doing a lot of partying and stuff, right? Right, this is, this is partying too and, and um, going out and being jolly and having, you know, but, I, but I'm really mainly seeing this as somebody before had all these options and the options that they had kind of led them astray because um, they, uh, how do I explain this? They 
had illusions attached to them, okay? They couldn't see through the illusions, and now they see kind of clear, and they may, um, they may be knowing kind of more what they want now. They're having, yeah, they weren't being strong back then. They, they were having a hard time with have, being strong, and you already know this because you're the high priestess, or they could be focused on you. All right, but that's what I'm seeing here for the overall. That's all of that was just the overall energy cancer, okay? <clears throat> but listen to those two songs, and I don't know why I keep seeing Sitara Star. What is that? Somebody look that up for me. Anyway, so what we have here is somebody who's I believe this is your person it looks like somebody may be going to jail maybe facing some kind of justice or judgment oppression someone could be feeling like they're in jail wherever they are feeling like they're very oppressed feeling like they can't speak feeling like there's no freedom feeling like they're always being watched feeling like they're locked up either they're feeling this way or someone is facing a jail sentence um, and we have here the universe in reverse what you know in the upright this tells me that You know, there's there's Things going on behind the scenes, right? But this is also like a completion card to me. Okay, however in the turned upside down it seems like for this person this is never going to end it could also seem that way for you too, cancer like this is never going to, to end. A 10 is a completion and this is kind of a completion card. It's almost like they want to complete this. They want to be over with the oppression. Whoever this person is, Cancer, whether it's you or your person, okay, um, they feel very oppressed. That means put down. They held down. They don't have a voice. They can't make a move. They can't, they don't have they're locked up they're being watched they're being monitored they're a prisoner they're a prisoner whether it's in their own mind in their own home in their own situation or they're go actually a jail term they're going to jail and they feel like this is just never going to end they feel like this completion they want the completion but it's never going to end it just keeps going on and on and on Maybe it's one thing after another. Maybe it's just a string of bad luck. Maybe it's their lifestyle and how they choose to live, their choices. Maybe it's just the inner turmoil and how they feel about it in, on the inside. But whoever this person is, it's very disturbing for me. Like it's really sad, man. And it just, they're in a very dark space right now. They feel very extremely sour, 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 sorrowful, sorrowful. They feel sorrowful. Everything they tried to do went down the drain. Everything, every, all the clarity they had, they feel very stabbed in the back. This is also the Three of Swords. It could um, have something to do with a third party situation, okay? It could also have to do with clarity and finding out truths and cutting through bullshit, but this is having your heart broken. This is feeling heartbreak. Um, this is just being stabbed in the back. There's blood in this, almost like a snake. Like there was a, sn a snake totally involved in this and they're heartbroken now and they have so much sorrow because whatever love they had here, or whatever good emotions they had just went down the drain. This is an empty tub and the only thing left in it is um, a trail of blood in the form of a snake. A snake came maybe and emptied out all that they had in that tub and now they're heartbroken. They're, they're heartbroken. They're, so full of sorrow. I don't want to keep saying sorrowful because I can't say that word. But yeah, they're very, very sad, very heartbroken, um, feeling oppressed, feeling jailed. They may be um, facing a jail sentence for something um, 
Yeah, there's been a lot of fighting and battling. Yeah, see, so this is the Ten of Cups. This is um, home life. This is in their home. But look, there's two women in this card. There's two women in this card. That's too many women for a, an abundant home life. And because of that, there were too many women. They had more than one. Uh, there may have been competition here. They wanted it to be happy with both people. And you can't have that. Third party situation, possible third party situation, lots of fighting, lots of, here's another one. Third party situation, another three. This person had a choice to make. They were at a crossroads. They've made their choice and they've been standing there just waiting for their ships to come in. This is a waiting kind of card too. While they sit there and wait, they could be, while they sit there and wait, see what, what I'm feeling here is cancer. This person had a choice to make between you and another person, okay? These two. They've made the choice. Here's the choice that they make. Or they could have three different people that they're dealing with, okay? But I'm seeing this as you. They made their choice for you, but they sat and they sat and they sat and they waited for their ships to come in. This ship, see? They're waiting for that to dock so they can turn their back on these other things and take this one wand that they decided on and get on the ship and fly, and fly, and float away, okay? Sail away. But no, they sat. Look, they're sitting so still here waiting for so long, we've got seagulls here that aren't moving and seagulls don't just stand there by somebody. This guy is perfectly still. He's not doing anything at all. He's just waiting. Maybe they, maybe this person wanted a sign from you, Cancer. M maybe they wanted you to make some kind of move and approach them. They are waiting for this ship, and that's what that's the one they chose. You know, they want to move away from from all the fighting and the battling, the choice that they had to make was between these two people and who was gonna offer them the best life. Well, they decided, but the thing is, is they waited possibly too long. Possibly too long. You know, while they were stuck here with, you know, I, all right, so anyway, then we have success here. But what I'm seeing is that while they're waiting, Cancer, you're focused on your success and you're getting it. You're getting it. It may be dark around you here, but you're starting to, you're starting to snap out of it. You're starting to come to the light. You're starting to focus on the bright spots, the lighter things, okay? And it's paying off. Your toil and your trouble right this person is a shoe shine okay that's maybe how people saw this person in the past is possibly not being much at all however you kept your face towards the light cancer and that is paying off for you that's paying off right because and this is what they're watching while they're sitting here waiting for you to come in you're focused on your pentacles okay your abundance getting yourself out of this dark space and into this light corner here where there's abundance all right and here you are now this puts them back into a mental prison feeling oppressed feeling like this is never going to end this person is watching you cancer now this is the hermit card all right so you could be dealing with a virgo but uh, the hermit usually goes within for an undetermined amount of time. <laughs> Goes within, tries to figure things out internally, okay? Tries to deal or cope with situations internally. Um, they don't speak, they're very quiet. Um, they're not gonna include themselves in on anything. They just wanna go within and figure things out. Okay, however, however, I'm seeing this as, yeah, they may be going, they may be within internally, but they were already going through a lot internally as it is. What this card is showing me is that they're freaking watching you, Cancer. They're watching you. 
they're shying away so that you can't see them. They're in the shadows, but this person is watching you and they're also being enlightened at the same time. Because what they're seeing here, Cancer, is a person who's taking care of themselves and gaining pentacles from their from from your focus, the focus that you're having. You're not focused on this dark energy anymore. You're not focused on this anymore. Okay, they put themselves in a situation or they're in a situation, but you're not in that situation besides them just wanting you and another woman to make them happy. Okay, you're over here focusing on yourself, building yourself up from the floor up, literally from the floor up, all by yourself. And you focused on that light and you got it. This is wish fulfillment. This is abundance. Okay, and you've got it. Look at you bathing, bathing in your pentacle, taking care of yourself, pampering yourself. Um, eyes covered with cucumbers. Yeah, I love that. Uh, and it feels fabulous. Let me tell you, there's nothing like a cucumber slice over that. It does, a, a, like a cold compress, no, none of that does this justice. It's really true. You got to try it if you haven't tried it yet. It's fabulous. But yeah, her eyes are covered. So she doesn't even know what's going on over here. She doesn't know that this person feels like he's trapped in a, in a prison, mental prison, could possibly be going to jail. She has no idea. She has no idea that he just can't find an ending to this. Um, that this could go on and on and on. That's how this person feels. You have no idea, Cancer. You're in your water, in your element. You found yourself in your element and you're taking care of yourself and you're giving back to yourself and you're pampering yourself and you're focused on your pentacles and they're growing and you're comfortable and you're happy and this person sees it and it's making them feel worse and worse and worse about their situation. I hope that resonates with you and you could be dealing with a Virgo but signs aren't really important, okay? It's the energy. Yeah, but you're doing great and they're in the shadows feeling trapped, bound, jailed, prisoned, oppressed, no voice, having a hard time, you know, they may even be um, feeling victimized. They may be even be feeling that, like a victim here, okay? And this is just, you know, look at, look at all the dark energy trickling down, trickling down like veins of ickiness. I say the weirdest shit on this channel. It makes sense though, dang it. All right, yeah, yeah. They're watching you be abundant and it's driving them crazy, look. You can even see, look, here, the spears here. Look at them, turning back, looking at you. Watching you glow and be abundant and be beautiful and take care of yourself and have great skin and lay there with the cucumbers on the eyes and whatnot. And they got all this shadow. Look at this. I don't even know what this is. Some kind of freaky creature. Stone dogs. I don't know. if Is that a, what is that? A Sybaris? Is that what they're called? I don't know. He's in the dark, except he's lighting the smoke. Like, I mean, is this, is this guy living in the subway or you know what I mean? They may be having a hard time figuring out where they're going to live. Meanwhile, you're like basking in your own glow and they're having such a hard time with it. Yeah, like I said, virtue. They see your virtue, your focus. This is your, this is the central focus for your reading. You're focused on your virtue. You know, virtue. Being there for yourself, standing up for yourself, uh, protecting yourself knowing what your worth is and only wanting to give it out to the right people. Okay, you know what I mean? Your heart, your love, those things are worth a lot. It's a virtue, right? Having a good virtue, right? That's what you're focused on and that's, they're focused on that of you, not so much them. 
They wish they had your virtue. Okay? They wish they did. They want to climb up that ladder because they know you're they know you're above all of this and all of this. You're above it already. And they want to climb that ladder to 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 meet you at your energy level. Okay? But they you know, they don't really know how to how to do that yet. Um, because they feel so stuck and trapped and it's just that's too many cards divine um, so stuck and trapped wherever they are or they like I said they could be going to jail and for a while too um, or the process could take a while yeah and there there we go trapped in a mental prison jail jail they could physically be going to jail and they could also be trapped mentally in this jail thinking about you and how virtuous you are and how abundant and beautiful you are and how how much you're worth and how all they can do now is stand on the sidelines and watch that's what I'm getting trapped Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. They waited too long for a ship to come in. They waited too long in that energy of having to decide between two. And while they had you waiting and them, you know, and them waiting, you, your focus was not on this. Ooh, yeah, they want to change this. This is too many, though. They want to change this. They want to create change. They may want to even try to manipulate the situation to create the change and bring you back in the inner circle. But this is somebody who, who wants to change this, and this is the infinity sign. They want to create change that's actually going to be lasting. They just, they're trapped in their mind about it, and all they can do is focus on your virtue and at the same time try to climb up there as, as much as they can to try to reach you at, at your energy level. Okay, sorry, Cancer. Ooh. All right. Yeah, they want to, they want to, they're trapped. That, that They feel like they can't see their way through this. They just need to take their blindfolds off. They could see that they can easily untie themselves and just slip right through here. Okay, they can fix this. They just haven't taken their blindfolds off because they're stuck in this oppressed energy. Whether they're going to jail, at the actual jail, or just feeling uh, like, you know, they can't speak, they're, they're stuck. I'm just being repetitive now, let's keep going. Yeah, but they want to change it. Uh, there's also Virgo is also in this card, so I'm feeling strong Virgo here for you. The Virgo is also in the Magician as well. So now we've got two Virgos here in a row, right? Um, yeah, so on watching your virtue, wanting to create change, not just between the both of you, but I'm feeling like they want some of your virtue too. They want to improve their lives. They want to improve their souls and their situation a little bit they just don't know how to communicate it um and they're they're trapped they're, they they keep going over and over and over all of these things in their mind the things that bother them the things that stab them well right underneath this card remember the blood-stained tub and the with the blood um the blood trail in the shape of a snake these are the things that are that they're focused on, that they want to change so that they can be more virtuous and climb that ladder to meet you in your energy, okay? That's commendable, that's commendable. You know, but it, it may take a while, they feel like this is gonna go on and on and on and on. And Right now, they're not at the confidence level to, they're so oppressed right now, all they can really do is try to manifest it, but they can't manif manifest it if they're, if they're still trapped in their mind. They, you know what I mean? They know what they want, but they don't know how to go about it yet, and they feel very stuck 
I guess is what I'm trying to say. They are out of hangman, though. They want to take action on this, the hangman in reverse. <coughs> you could be dealing with the Pisces. This is the card for Pisces. Um, you know, though, there's something that about this man that looks kind of like deadish to me, okay? Almost like a rotting corpse. Upside down, he just looks like he's skin and bones or something. Like these are all rib cages. His eyes are bugging out. He's absolutely pale and white. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good to me. So there may be, for some of you out there, cancers, not for everyone, but your person may be in very poor health or... I don't know. I'm, it's here with the higher font too. So like, you know, I'm seeing the cross here. I'm seeing this person hung upside down, looking like he's just a skeleton. Um, there could be some danger for your person or very bad health. There could even possibly be a death, but I haven't seen a death card yet. So Otherwise, this person is no longer in hangman position, okay? He knows he wants to take some kind of action on it. Remember, he want, he's after your virtue. He's after your vir virtue, but he wants to make an effort and climb this ladder to get to your level, okay? And, and he's finally, you know, seeing the light. He's finally listening to the higher font. The higher font is about doing things the right way, the traditional way. He's about commitment. Um, you can be committed to something and not commit to a relationship. Perhaps this person, your person, is ready to commit to themselves as well. They see you doing it. Look, let me put this down. Oh, possible third party situation. Look at, you've committed to yourself. Your focus is on you, growing your pentacle and taking care of yourself and pampering yourself, putting the love back into you, Cancer, okay? Your virtue, this is your virtue. This is, this is your sunshine spark from within, basically. Your soul, your virtue is soul, and that's what they want. They want that too. They want to be abundant like you. They want to be healthy like you. Look, in comparison, really? This is why they want your virtue. They want to be virtuous like you also. They want to kind of, they see what you're doing and they see how far you've come and they see how strong you are and beautiful and, and, and abundant and they want a part of that too, but they know in order to do that, they have to improve their soul. In, they know in order to do that, they have to do things the right way. Okay? In order to do that, they have to take some action and look at themselves and climb that freaking ladder. All the lessons to be learned. So you can become a better person, so you can have that kind of abundance and feed yourself a little bit better so that you don't wind up in these jails anymore, right? This isn't for you, this is for your person, Cancer. I'm, now I've kind of flipped talking to your person. What the, anyway, yeah, so that they don't feel like they're trapped in this kind of situation anymore. This is very dark with no hope of an end. All right? That's what that is. Feeling trapped, jailed, watched, comp no freedom whatsoever, with, no, with very little sign that this is going to come to a completion. All right? So they want this instead. They want this, that part of you, your spark your belief system, your, you know, you, your, your divinity, your divinity. That's what they want. They want that too. They see how you're doing it and they want to learn how to do it. They want to learn how to do it through the higher fun, doing things the correct way. And they're committed. They can be committed to learning how you've grown abundant. They can be committed to that too. This can be a commitment to anything, not just another person. However, they do need to figure that part out because they've got too many women here. And the higher font is going to call for a choice on that as well. Traditional ways and commitment, one way or another. They realize that though, and they're willing to take this action because they have to get out of this energy. Jailed, jailed. Or, like I said, your person could actually be going to jail. 
Okay. <coughs> All right, let's do flashcards and a possible outcome for you, Cancer. Then, ooh, then I gotta go. I'm late. <laughs> gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. All right, so. Um, yeah, and I'm feeling a very um, bad assy. <laughs> is that even a word? Bad assy energy off of cancers today. Like, um, just badass. That's what I'm feeling off of cancers. Like, like you know, you're you're happy. You've got you've got abundance. You've got things coming to you. I'll tell you what. I get gifts all the time. You may have communication coming your way as well. I know I've been getting a ton of communication. Um, yeah, it's um, I'm feeling you may even be very busy, but you very you very much value these times when you can take that that bath. Uh, that spiritual bath or pamper yourself yeah I'm right along with you cancer um, but there's this badassery feeling this weekend like someone may have to move to someone may be moving but here's that bus right now this is this is spirituality speaking this is the um, this is one of my cards for for the twin flame journey divine this is a lot of spiritual learning this is a bus coming in to pick somebody up and take them to spiritual learning to higher learning to learning more about themselves and more about what this higher font wants to teach traditional ways doing things the right way and having that virtue and I believe your person wants to move in this direction or may have already taken a move and is now working on that internally trying to figure out the answers that you already instinctively know cancer you have figured out your your virtue and you know what it is that you've known from before you started focusing on yourself and your pentacles before and look at how far you've come look at how far you've come cancer oops you've come from a dark space then you started building and it started paying off you focused on this light instead of this darkness. See how this person is, he's, he's facing the light, not the dark. That's you, Cancer. You faced the light and not the dark. This person did not do that. This person emerged themselves into the dark. And now they don't see, they don't see when this is going to come to an end. But not you. You focused on the light and not the dark, Cancer, and now look at you. You went from this energy to when you were in a third-party situation with this person. You went from this energy to this energy. Yeah, that's right. And um, they, where, where are they? They're in here somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, they get to watch. They got to watch this. You know, they got to watch all of that go down the drain over a snake. They got to watch this abundance that you are now run right down the drain, possibly because of a snake. And it hurt them so bad that it's, it wounded them. That's blood going down that drain. It could be you. Could be you, but that's not what I'm feeling. I'm feeling this off of you, Cancer. Bliss. Wish fulfillment. Abundance. Okay? This is a nine. This is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. This one. A single woman. Single. Right? She takes care of herself. She rocks her own shit. Seriously, in the tarot deck, Nine of Pentacles is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. She doesn't waste her time on anyone. She only feeds herself. She's not going to play any games. And she's not going to let anyone else play games with her. Or her time. Or her love. Or her heart. Or her life. It just doesn't happen. And you don't, you know, if, you're, if an empress is placed in a third party situation, she's going to focus on herself. 
and uh, everybody else just gets to watch and that's what's happening and as they watch they want it too they want that cancer they want that virtue they want that brightness they want that passion they want that sunshine you have inside of you because of your values because of how you defend yourself because of how you know your worth it all adds up to your virtue okay and they want it they want to learn how to do this they may be making a move out of whatever situation that they've been in so that they can learn about this instead because perhaps they're perhaps they're getting sick and twisted about uh, watching you glow while they're in the shadows and darkness feeling oppressed and jailed and like it's never going to come to an end okay yeah yeah so possible outcome they may be making a move you may be making a move um whoever though either way um i feel both people are going to be working on their spirituality trying to become better you you definitely cancer um but you're already doing that i feel that your person is kind of running to it um, because they they see you as an empress and how much you've been so abundant and they want to take part in that instead of watching everything that they have go down the drain um they're heartbroken i know that what else can you show us for cancer yeah there's okay so possibly this week there could be some turbulence with all of this I'm feeling communication perhaps maybe coming in. Um, what else can you show me? There's going to be turbulence. So there could be, uh, I'm th I see it as communication. Or you could just feel this person's energy too, you know. But let's find out. Clarify the turbulence card. They always tell me to say turbulence, okay. Ooh. Yeah, somebody wants to have that. They need support. Somebody needs some support here. They need to be. They need. They need to feel safe again. They need to be surrounded by open, strong, warm arms. That's what. That's what this person needs. Either either you or your person that they really want some trusting arms around them or some, you know something they can trust. It, they're scared. They're scared though for this. Uh, they don't know what to do because they know they didn't put in any effort. Well, very little effort. See the tiny little effort. That's the word effort in this against this huge wall in a gym. Who's it? In a gymnasium, they should have effort across the whole thing, but no, they didn't put in any effort into this. They put in very little effort into this pairing, this pair between you two. Okay, in between this, the, when they had, when they were with you, when you guys were paired up, they put in very little effort. So now they're afraid to come and tell you that they really need you right now. They need your healing strength. They need those strong, trustable arms, okay, because they're going through a lot of turbulence. And this is going to be turbulent for you. If this is communicated, it may kind of shake some things up for you. One more card for Cancer. I got to go, Cancer. Or a couple, yeah, like I said, communication is coming in. They're going to come in and communicate it. Um, so that, yay, there's going to be more communication. <laughs> um, yeah, there, it's going to surprise you though. This is a kid that's surprised. I don't know. He's looking kind of, you know, honestly, I'm not going to say it's a surprise card. I'm looking at, okay, so this is what this guy is going to look like, or this person is going to look like when they come to you and communicate. They're going to be kind of like intense. They might come off a little bit crazy. They might, you know, it's just their nerves. Okay, this is like, this is somebody who's like, I'm really freaked out. I'm really super tense. They might have like, you know, 
drink like 30 Mountain Dews before they <laughs> cups of coffee, you know, they're going to be like wired, you know, but it's only because this communication is very, very important. All right. It's very, very important. And all they've been able to do, like, it's almost like they're excited yet at the same time they're scared. Okay. That's the feeling that I'm getting. They're excited. They're, ex they're excited, but they're scared. Okay, because this is all that's been happening with them. Everything that is that they have, everything they touch, everything they do is going down the flipping drain. Going down the drain. That's what I'm <laughs> that's what I'm gonna name this. Going down the drain. Okay. But communication is definitely coming in. Communication's coming in, but just just know this person's going to be all up in their nerves and they've been oppressed for so long that they may not even be able to ha know how to communicate. I'm having a hard time talking right now. That's what I'm talking about. They may have a really hard time because they're scared and, and they're, they're, they're excited and they're freaked out all at the same time and they've, had, they've been through shit. Yeah, okay, they kind of caused it because they picked too many chicks. Too many chicks and they sat on this forever. But you know what, though? They're also very oppressed. I, I guess use your intuition, Cancer. Everybody's situation is different. But right off the bottom of the deck here, you do have a chance to rewrite the story. You, you, have, a, you have a chance to write now. Nothing's on this paper pre-written, so you can do the writing. You, you're going to be the one who makes the call. All right? You're going to be the one to write the end of this. What if, whether it's a continuation or just an end, you're going to write the next chapter, I guess is what I want to say. You get to write the next chapter, Cancer. All right, Cancers, I love you so much, and I hope this resonated with you. Um, if it did, please help my channel grow. Subscribe, like, please, please. And um, you know what? I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back with you in probably a few days, okay? Until then, have a great weekend. Take care of you, and peace out.